While flooding is responsible for a significant amount of human suffering all over the world every year, causing death, injury, homelessness, displacement and economic loss. The 10 costliest river floods that occurred between 1980 and 2014 caused the deaths of over 13,000 people and an estimated $187 billion in economic losses. The risks to people and the economic impacts of flooding are most severe for urban flooding. I'm afraid that the number of floods and the number of properties affected by them are likely to increase in the future due to the impact of climate change and also the growing population exposure in floodplains. While satellites can provide an excellent wide area view of the flood, Unfortunately, visible band satellites can't see through the cloud that's often present during flooding, and they also won't work at night. To cope with this, flood detection is now commonly performed by high-resolution synthetic aperture radar or SAR sensors. These sensors are able to penetrate cloud and to image it at nighttime as well as during the day. A particularly important SAR satellite that has been launched recently is Sentinel-1. This gives an image with 10 meter pixel size only an hour or so after it is received at the ground station. And the image is also free to us. Well, they need to have real time flood visualization tools available to enable them to react to and manage fast moving events and to target their limited resources at the highest priority areas. So an image showing where the flood is, which roads are closed and so on is very useful to them, particularly if the flood is occurring at night. We've been working with the JBA Flooding Consultancy to improve their flood foresight system using SAR flood extents. Flood foresight is a national scale operational system developed to provide predictions of flood extent and depth from river floods days before the actual flood occurs. We can improve the predicted flood extents by correcting these using SAR flood extents obtained at the same time as the forecast. This is a simple form of data assimilation. This is giving extra information for emergency flood relief management and also helping to improve flood forecasting. We also think that if we can develop an automatic method, we might have a tool for detecting urban flooding in near real time on a global basis, which would be very useful.